What's going on, you guys? It's just about back to school time, and it's time to put your bikinis away. That means no longer bikini season and no longer summer movie season. It is coasting to an end, and the numbers are in. We have an intrepid panel of prognosticators who made their top 10 picks, and today we will reveal who had the quintessential top 10 summer movie box office list domestic. So uh, let's uh, reintroduce our panel. First, you know her from Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, she's just a all around swell gal, Jacqueline Coley. Glad to be back. Oh, good <laughs> to have you back. It would have been weird not to have you back because you were one of the pickers yeah, yeah. for this. Uh, but always great to have you, Jacqueline. Oh, this lady, uh, you know her as the voice of Movie Phone, Ms. Movie Phone. And she's got the best fingernails in the biz. Yeah. Da -na my nails, my nails so are sick. going to eat your face. Na, 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 na. We're gonna need a bigger couch. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. This gentleman came all the way from across the hall. Mm. You know him, you love him, Mr. Dan Merle. How's it going, Hal? Good to see you, Dan. Good to oh, see you. Oh boy, so uh, before we jump into what uh, surprised us and what was pretty much expected in regards to the summer, let's take a look at everyone's lists. Here's a little memory jogger. Just to remind you, here's Dan's. And here is Gray Drake's list. Let's see that Jacqueline Coley list. And here's my list. Great. So uh, all of us picked uh, Toy Story 4 and The Lion King as one and two. Yes, but, uh, we did. Yes, we, yes, oh, we picked them all. <laughs> yes, we did. Um, but only two were correct and went to infinity and beyond with their order. Uh, Dan and Jacqueline um, picked them correctly with Lion King one, Toy Story four, uh, number two. Yeah, I didn't know also that everyone would not enjoy the movie that much though either. Like, I think we got the box office right, but if I was trying to pick the critic reception of that one, I don't think I would have gotten that number. I really liked it. I, I was, did too. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I haven't seen the original in a long, long time. So it was like, oh, it felt kind of fresh to me. No, it's weird, you guys. It was weird. It I was, was I was one of those green splats. Uh, that yeah. I was, I was one of them. Um, wow. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah, it, it didn't was really weird. do it for me. I didn't want to see it. photorealistic animals singing songs. Like it was, it was beautiful to look at. But I thought, like I, I watched and went, that was a movie I have seen previously. Hey, we can all be happy in the fact that Disney is laughing their way all the way to the bank. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they own everything, including Spider-Man Far From Home, at least partially. Not anymore. Uh, oh, <laughs> well, we don't know now. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. True, yeah. True. Um, <laughs> Breaking but, news. Uh, that was uh, number three, and Dan and Gray had that correct. Yes. So, uh, Love that Peter Parker in Venice. <laughs> yes. To everyone who said I was wrong about Spider-Man, I'm right, you're right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> on the numbers, on where I picked it, you're right. Fine. <laughs> yeah, you were, the, you were the lowest, Jacqueline, yeah. having uh, Spider-Man Far From Home at number five. You were furthest from correct yes. on that one. So, uh, yeah, any, any thoughts? Anyone surprised by uh, a uh, Marvel slash Sony uh, film coming in at number three? I thought that it was a little bit more forced than Homecoming was. Yes. Tone-wise, they were, like, trying to keep up, but... It, ultimately worked out because I thought the plot was really cool. I was really surprised at how it turned out. I was a big fan of it. Uh, yeah. I, I do think that the reason that it was so high, and we didn't know this when we made our picks because yeah. it was so tied into Endgame, was how closely they aligned this movie yes. with Avengers Endgame. Basically selling it as a continuation of what happened in the movie in, in some ways that it was, and I think that's what boosted it up so high, both domestically and worldwide. The first Spider-Man movie to make a billion dollars worldwide. And also... I love anything that centers on fabulous accessories, by the way, in a superhero sure. movie. The glasses oh, yeah. that Jake Till on. <laughs> I was like, yes, amazing. Not since they live has a movie so successfully built around a pair of sunglasses. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. I'm trying to think other sunglasses, other sunglasses. All right. Black. Weekend and Birdies. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, didn't do sort so of well. enough. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. You, that was yeah, a you had him in black, though, too. I did have yeah. him in black oh, in yeah. on my yeah. list. Yes, uh, I did. Oh, yeah. Gray picked it, uh, and so did I. Um, yeah, it did not. Oh, that was but DOA. But just, just to be clear, I did not make a 
a better decision. I picked the other crappy movie that should not be on the list, being Dark Phoenix. So I think we're all going to go ahead and put on clown shoes on this one oh, and just yeah. walk our way outside. But why stop there when we remember that I put Angry Birds too? <laughs> oh. I just panicked and I put but, that down. Wait a minute. Didn't kill the box office, but did break the video game curse. I think it's going to be the first certified fresh video game movie. Mm. Oh. Listen, it is win, better. Win, win. I think the problem with Angry Birds is so many people either didn't see the first one or didn't like the first one, and so that's why they didn't do it. I mean, can you call Angry Birds a video game movie? It's more like an app movie. They're the video games of today. Um, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Along with video games. Oh, back in my day, you sat down on a couch with a controller in your hand, not your phone, to play Take a video game. Take it easy, Grandpa Rubnick. Uh, oh, hogwash. No, I was, uh, I'll take my lumps. I was dead wrong on Men in Black International. Uh, I thought that Tessa Thompson and Chris yeah. Hemsworth, they would sell it. Yep. Uh, Jacqueline, you were right uh, that yeah. nobody cared. No one had any interest in it whatsoever. And by the way, it didn't feel like the people making the movie had any interest no. in it. No. Yeah. Yeah. no. I cannot believe that F. Gary Gray directed that movie. It had well, no energy to it. There's been some yeah. things that have come out since then. I don't think very many people were, like, they knew it was a mess before yeah. it got there, you That's know. A shame. Yeah, yeah. A shame. yeah, I had it in at number ten, and no, sir. Yeah, Valkyrie and Thor did not uh, reignite that magic. Mm. Um, Gray uh, is the only Aladdin hater. Uh, on the couch right now. And actually, I, I was relatively surprised. My expectations were so low that I said to my husband, I, I wasn't reviewing it and I was seeing it for myself. And I texted him and I said, if it's not good and it's not getting me, I'm coming home halfway through. And I stayed through the whole movie and oh. I came home and he goes, wow. So it was good and I went, no. I was just trying to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> And that's what maybe, you know, a billion dollars worth of people were trying to... Yeah. It's Will Smith, though, yeah. you know. Yeah. Who, who really made it his own. I thought that, that it was gorgeous to look at. Mm -hmm. I thought that Aladdin, relatively forgettable, although I can't wait to see that actor in something else. Um, and really, it's all about Jasmine. Yeah. That yeah. young lady was so great. All right, so no one had this on their top ten list, but uh, placing in the top ten, John Wick, uh, Chapter 3 defied the laws of science. Neither one of the first movies together made as much as that one did. That is wow. ridiculous. It just doesn't happen. So does that happen? Keanu is on fire. Yes. yes. Both literally and figuratively. Before John Wick, people would have been like, really? Now they're like, yeah, let's go. Oh yeah, yeah. it's the keanu Yeah, uh, that, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. keanu yeah. Reeves tapped into something, just yeah. this, zeit, this weird thing, this pulse of uh, of the of fans and everything. Yeah, always yeah. be my maybe. Yeah. yeah, I mean, for John Wick Chapter 3, a hard R action movie to survive, like not just in the summer, but like in May, in the middle of like the biggest onslaught, like the later part of the summer yeah. was kind of spaced out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like May was just a gauntlet of movies coming yeah. out in May and June and against all odds that you would think uh, for John Wick chapter 3 to do as well as it did uh, surprised the hell out of me I don't yeah. think I don't think it's often that a movie makes the top 10 that not one single person uh, of the four people yeah. that we have every yeah. year has put on there here's a, a movie that uh, at least one of us had Dark Phoenix that was me yeah the uh, the Phoenix did not rise <laughs> it really did it, it fell. but it wasn't that far off. I will say that. It was like 12 or 13. I just didn't think the movie could be that bad. James McAvoy, mm -hmm. Jessica Chastain. Yeah, Listen, Fassbender oh. was acting the hell out of that movie. I yeah. thought he was doing great. I loved every scene that had that had like Sophie Turner and Fassbender staring at each other so hard. Uh -huh. But it didn't amount to Such much more. Such a dour tone in that film. It was pretty joyless. I love so, many, so much of the X-Men franchise, but this was... Yeah, just hard to enjoy. <coughs> Rocket Man, I thought you were gonna make my top ten list, but it did not. <laughs> it's still oh, it almost hundred million dollars. Right? Yeah, I yeah. think it's at yeah. eleven yeah. right now. Still that, did well. Yeah. 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 Just um, one of those that just got edged out. For like a literal gay musical fantasy, like, let's be real. It did about as good as anyone could yeah. have expected. It's yeah. impressive. Like it did reach people yeah. and I that when I saw it, I went, Oh my god, I wonder how people are gonna respond to this. Because obviously I love it, mm -hmm. but everybody else did too. I was really surprised. And this is not Queen. Like Queen is like stadium rock music that literally goes everywhere. Elton John yeah. is popular and as amazing as it is. It's an acquired taste. Like what? you like. Okay, di hard disagree. Elton you think John, I you think, is more ubiquitous uh, than 
queen. I think the box office disagrees with you. <laughs> the box office, yes. <laughs> like I'm talking about but, like in middle America, like I know they love Freddie Mercury, but it's like, they're gonna go to queen. Like we will rock you. If you and I went back and forth naming, if I like Elton John hits versus queen hits, Elton John's list would be like brrr, queen. Yes. queen. Uh, queen would be shorter, But I think. which ones do people want to sing along to? And thanks for watching Jacqueline and Hal on music. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys have any more thoughts, anything uh, that surprised and or disappointed you about the summer? Gray? Scary stories to tell in the dark. One of my favorite horror movies of the year. How is that movie PG-13? <clears throat> and so damn spooky. Mm -hmm. I okay. loved it. I, I'll just say, you know, I'll pour one out one more time for Booksmart. I was so <gasps> sad oh. that it didn't do uh, any box office. The fact that Once Upon a Time yeah. in Hollywood yes, made yes. the top 10, and also not just the Quentin Tarantino movie made the top 10, but th that that one did, because yes. yeah. it's mm. so weird yeah. and yeah. long mm -hmm. and not at all um, mainstream. Yeah. Uh, right? And the fact that it still found an audience, that it, that uh, people were still willing to give it a shot and, and go out and see it. Like Sometimes a movie like that will come out and you're like, oh, thank God, because people will still go see this, even if it's not exactly what they think it might be. Um, all right, shall we oh, uh, oh reveal God. what's to be revealed? Yes. Okay, so let's show the actual list. There it is, I think it's up on the screen. If, if not, this part will not be in the video. <laughs> all right, coming in, third place, Gray Drake with seven out of 10. Yes. Uh, in second place, me, I guess I didn't win. Uh, I had eight out of 10. And we have a tie for first place, which means we had to go to the tiebreaker. Dan and Jacqueline both had nine out of 10. We went to the tiebreaker, which was most movies in the correct order and coming in second place, Dan Merle, our winner, Jacqueline Coley. Oh my God, now we don't have to listen to you complain until next summer. Yes. I'm sorry I lose every year and I'm highly competitive. How did I win? I thought uh, I didn't win. You, you guessed the most in the right spot. Yes, you had the oh, most in the right spot. I thought we like right just spot. tied. Okay. No. Yeah. 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 What happened was Hobbs and Shaw jumping over Pokemon Detective Pikachu you, that put you in the right placement. Oh. And so you have The Rock and Jason Statham to thank. Oh my God. <laughs> the Rock screwed you again. The Rock screws you every <laughs> single yes. Even when I guess right, The Rock still screws me every single year. Yeah, when I won CIA, put you yeah. down. Central Intelligence, and then I put Baywatch in there. Baywatch doesn't make it. And then I don't put, damn you, Dwayne Johnson. I know you just got married, but you screw me every year. Uh, how did you do? How many did you get on your list? What were you surprised by this summer? What was like, kind of like, eh, I figured that would happen. Let let us know in the comments section. We want to know. I gotta thank this awesome crew of movie prognosticators Jacqueline Coley, Gray Drake, Dan Merle. Well played. Great talking with you guys. Uh, let's do it again next year. How about it? It's okay. a day. Sounds yeah. good. Let's do it again. Thank you for watching. Hit us all up on Twitter. Bye bye. <laughs>